Beat him. Beat his face. Do He's it. waking me up. Crack Come on. Do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you do it? Did you leave the dump in the tournament, the toilet? Is that why he's beating you up? Yeah. Please. Please. The uh, funniest thing of yesterday was that. It was good. It went on for a while. And it was good. Uh, welcome back to Collider Live, everybody. It is Friday. We're ending the uh, show this week. And we we're in the it. end game now. We didn't do shit yet. It's not over. It's almost over. But, Collider end game. But joining us, as always, is Josh McCuga. Hey, buddy. Mark Riley. Hi. And Francis Ford Coppola herself. <laughs> I'm okay with that nickname. Bram Stoker. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I fucking love that movie. Bramina Stoker? But it's not Bram. The nickname isn't Bram Stoker. It's Bram Stoker. Wait, is it going to affect your band, though? My band? If we call you Bram Stoker. No. Too soon. I don't care. Too soon. Well, you know what isn't too soon, Detective Pikachu? I have a question for you. Oh. Cody, you've been on the case. The case of the pooper. Yeah. I have. And um, yeah, what's going on over there? Look, it's not going well. No. I, I was up all night last night trying to crack this pooping case. Yeah, is it like uh, trying to find Dexter? The trail yeah, has gone cold. It's just every time I have a lead, it just goes cold. Yeah. Uh, I have many suspects on this board here trying to figure out. I got Alex here as my uh, assistant detective. None of us. Could are, it have uh, been cracking. Alex doing a drive-by pooping because he was because he was, was upset about the next drive-by pooping. pooping? And I haven't ruled out Alex as a suspect either. He <laughs> right. was not here yesterday. Right. He may have just come in and just pooped like a phantom. That's what I'm saying. I <laughs> hope yeah. it was. I hope this. I not hope it was. This yeah. is the collider Don't call live. Don't me chips. Yeah. This is the collider live version of American Vandal season two. Yeah. 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 It's incredible. Did yeah. you, uh, Alex, do you know what we're talking about? Yeah, I listened to the show yesterday. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah. Alex, that's very nice of you. How are you, Alex? I'm great. I, I saw <laughs> Endgame last night, and I had a great time. We're talking okay. about poop, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cody has a, 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 a full-on board to yeah. where he's got it all linked to try to figure out. It looks like, yeah. you know, when they were trying to figure out uh, John Doe in, in Seven. Yes. But, got yeah. a... Uh, Got a forensics team coming in today. Good, 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 good. Lab results. It's We're going to find out. A fecal team. But you know what is funny because I, because I, I, like I said, I have my suspect. My suspect is somebody who kind of came in as a guest that we talked about. Right? Yeah. And the I, one that looked like a shitter. Right. And I said to someone, they're like, oh, I don't know. Let's let's say the person's name is Stephen. It isn't, but right. But it's like, oh, I don't know. And I don't think Stephen would do that. You hope no one would, would do it. Totally. You hope that if I said, well, McCougar, well, I don't think McCougar would do it. I don't think Riley would do it. I don't think yeah. Doreen would do it. You hope no one would do right. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Yet there was a turd in the toilet. So it's possible Stephen did it. <laughs> like, I, I am so nervous to poop anywhere besides my home base. Right. Mm -hmm. But let alone, like, somebody's home. Right. I'm so nervous about that. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm so nervous about, like, if I go somewhere and I know there's people around. Like, if it's a... You just okay, can't do it. No, I know. I, know. I remember you saying that thing. And, well, are, you, are we sure that Riley didn't make it up? Yeah, no, I nah, he was pretty. He was pretty hard. Board, right? no. yeah. he was on the you board. were pretty horrified. How can I be on the board? You're on the board. Well, I'm he a suspect. Yeah, I, he I, discovered I, it. It's like I didn't kill my wife. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm automatically yeah. a suspect right. because I found it. Yeah. yeah. And you, and you're the producer. You knew and, like. It, and if you listen to the comments, we were struggling for bits, so we needed to talk we, about right. shit. Right. So I, uh, yeah. So I'm, I am going to write a, a book if I did it. Right. And if I shit it. If I shit it. If I shit it. If I shit it. If I shat it. With Riley. And then afterwards, a performance by Riley and the shit. Exactly. It's going to be a Riley poop loser week. You know what? I'm canceling the Houston match, and we're just going to put that on instead. We're just going to do that instead. Riley and the shit. Yeah. No, I saw it's funny. I was in a mood. I was in a mood, and I was and I actually looked at some of the comments on that video because I just we peed. Out that video, Did you? yeah. We said on the podcast channel because yeah, I said to Riley, Riley always comes after. He said, "What do we want to piece out?" And I uh, and I said, "We got to piece that out." Yeah, it's got like seven thousand views or whatever. That's and I, the best thing we've ever it's, done. It's really, it's really good. And I said to Cody, I said, "It will be an absolute fail if on in that comment section someone doesn't say what's happened to this channel." Right? Yeah. And, and, and I, I was waiting for it, and I didn't yes. get that. But what I did get was the, 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 the one that was like, "Oh, when you when you have nothing to talk about." But uh, you still wanted to get those clicks. I just responded, you sad bastard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I'd rather click on that clip yeah. than some other so totally. Avengers clip. How yeah. many it's Avengers clips really, do you need? I know. It's a really Avengers seven. Endgame yeah. ending explained? Yeah. yeah. Who shit? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are you going? It's upsetting me. My OCD is kicking in. Oh, there. Do you really have OCD? <laughs> I was like, damn, what, what happened? happened? Well, then you know it wasn't him. He couldn't have left the turd in there if, if, if it was the OCD. That's what he wants you to think. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong, Cody. Maybe <laughs> playing a character. Got, I've watched a lot of TV shows. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, the, Get your hands uh, off me. The, 
Uh, poop detector. Mm. Yeah, the poops. Wait. Uh, oh, um, I haven't gone in comment sections in a long time. Oh. Right. I have. I really haven't uh, because I, I just think it's a cesspool of hatred, and I, I don't want to be a part of that. Not all of it. Uh, yeah, a lot of times. This video was fun. But though. this video was very, very yeah. funny. I didn't even know it was on the podcast channel until right now. You didn't yeah, tell yeah. me. So I went on uh, my Schmodown match with uh, Elliot and. and and Roko and Dan. Correct. Which went is, up which Wednesday? Is, uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yes, sir. So I haven't gone in there. I wanted to see what the crowd reaction to, like, the mild berry flip. Yeah. And it was so positive. I was like, you oh, know yeah. what? I'm going to go look at uh, other YouTube. No. So you fucked up. It's yeah. very different. I, I, I bit off too much, very, Christian. Very, I, I went. Very what different was the worst audience? one? Yes. Very different um, audience. What was the worst one yeah. from that one? No, no, no. You're in that one? Or no, no, no. Just video? a comment. You, oh, no. you said you read more comments because yeah, of that. Yeah, you went on a rabbit hole where somewhere The showdown else. people were also positive. Yeah. Where'd you go here? Where'd you go live? Uh, I went to the Avengers Endgame, one of like the ones, that, you know, those things. Okay. And it was just like, these people have no... What does Makuga do on these videos? It's just no, like, okay, yeah, I'm going to yeah, roll yeah. myself into the freeway. What do we all do, though? No one Nobody does. knows. We're just trying to have fun. It's, listen... But you're going against your ruling. I know, I know. Here's the thing. It's, I'm just trying to have fun in life, right? Yeah. And if I think something is succeeding? fun, I'm going to try it. And it's, well, people keep paying me to do things, so right. I'm doing it, right? Mm. Uh, you seem about to enjoy that. having me on the show. Yeah, about that. <laughs> about that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been real. The end so game good. happened for me. You're only here to fix the studio. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Go to S dust. So I... Uh, so dust! I just... I went there. I dusted myself. I literally dusted you myself. Right. I totally dusted myself. Well, listen, myself. Hand, hang out in the on the comment section this morning because it's very mm. positive. It's very nice. Yes. And I am very excited that we are going to Houston. Mm. That is going to be a riot inside of a wrestling ring, mm -hmm. which is great. Booker T, if you're a fan of the, the legend Booker T, he is going to be there doing meet and greets. You can get those tickets at theschmodownlive.com. You only have until May 18th to do it because that's when we're going to be there. Mark Ellis will do, be doing a comedy show the night before on May 17th. Brett Sheridan will be on that uh, bill, so make sure you come on out. So Ken Napsock, Ken Napsock will be on. Else is on there too. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure. That, I think Sturger's on there too. So, so too. You're not going to be there. I'm not. I no. have a family wedding. Every yeah. time, I mean, it's just it becomes the most hysterical running joke. Like one in every five events, I can make it. Are yeah. you going to be there, really? Yeah, I'm there. yeah. I can make. I think I can make. This is this is a soft. This is not locked down. This is what we're looking at as far as the it, what used to be the collider collision is mm -hmm. now just called the Schmodown collision. Mm -hmm. Normally, it is in the beginning of July. We're looking at making that a live streaming event oh. on June twenty second, which will be four matches because of the live streaming match. But uh, live streaming, um, we can't do five. But it's yeah. going to be four matches. Going to be and I can say that there will be a manager bowl. Uh, that will also be on there. And you sent me the email prepping the date, and I said, well, I can't, I can't be there. Be there either, yeah. How many exhibition matches do you either have planned or want to do this year that are themed? Like whether it's like a yeah, Marvel well, one or well, a, the MCU like one, a... You should have a Pokemon one with the wingers. That's not a bad one. But uh, we are all locked up for the rest of the year, which is great. Um, the MCU match happened, and mm -hmm. it went up yesterday. Right. People say it's like the most the most fun and their favorite. MC, uh, excuse me, is that the one match? I walked in on uh, right before my most recent taping? Maybe with that real that guy who like got everything right. Yes. Okay. Um, so go and check that out. It's on. It's on. If you want to, it's on Patreon. You can go to Patreon.com/slash/schmodown. Um, and it is. If you're in the ten dollars tier, you get it today. If not, uh, next week is the five dollars tier, and then two weeks, everybody gets it. For the people that were in the room for that match, it had a very interesting feel. Yeah, well, it's it's it was a, watch the match, the MCU match. But to answer your question, I think that's the, a pretty the, good tease. Yeah, it's a pretty good tease. Yeah. The other ones that we have are um, there's yeah. going to be a Harry Potter one. Oh. There's going to be new releases. Okay. There's one. There's going to be a Rocky title match between my, myself and the current Rocky champion Tom Dagnino. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is a Disney animated one slash Pixar. Cool. When that'll be. And you didn't respond to me in my email. You might have lost out, buddy. Uh, and then he there, probably was blocked I you on the email. You should have been. Well, we'll figure it out some other time, not on the air. And then there's one what other one. I, I can't remember what it is, but it's the it. wild berries. Well, that's going to be that's going to be end of the, the end, end of the year. year. Yeah. yeah, but we're doing we're I doing want a music yeah. one. Um, the scores, scores and soundtracks, and soundtracks. soundtracks. But anyway, you can go check all that stuff out. And like Makuga said, go to the uh, the Schmodownlive .com or just check out the, the the match between the wild berries and founding fathers. That's up there now. Uh, man, Avengers Endgame is just taking over everything. Yes, it really is just taking over everything. Yeah, it's kind of it's 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 slash annoying but slash exciting. Did right. Cody see because, it? Yet? Because, no, no, can't I'm, spoil I have. it. Oh, oh, you saw it? Yeah. What did you see? Yeah. Yeah. Cody, you saw it last night? In the middle of this investigation, I did watch the film, <laughs> and uh, it was great. You liked really it? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Are you happy, Cody? You're off I'm the case, happy. Hall. Yeah. 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 It's funny, because I looked at that spoiler review went up last night that yeah. we did on Collider. Mm. And I said, because, you know, they, they usually do it, they usually put it up around... Uh, 
right after, I don't know, like midnight, I the think. The public so, premiere, right? Well, so that you, it's up there for people who just saw it and want to come back and see it. I, I always I always push back against those people like, why would you put a spoiler review up when not everyone's seen it? Well, don't you could just not every, 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 every fucking time. Don't click <laughs> the button. I, it's the dumbest thing. It's a, I can't it watch this Cobra says Kai. Spoiler. It, it says literally spoiler. says spoiler on the title. It, not everybody has seen it. It's, like, it's so weird. Yeah, because even, and I've, I've seen pundits go, don't put yeah. up that review until the weekend's over. No, here's the point. The point is that there are people yeah. who go, and I've seen this comment many times. There are people who go to see the movie and want to run back right. and watch a video that are yeah. discussing it. Yes, and, and so and I see that. I saw that comment. I'm so glad. I've been waiting for it. I saw the movie. And I'm waiting for this to upload, and they right. do. Don't click it. Yes, the, the, it's so easy to easy. not. Let me tell you. But anyway, the point is, I because of that, Hold on. I looked at that review, and I was like, and I'm Perry, and I, I walked this morning. I, was, I thought it was going to have like thirty thousand views. But this just shows how popular this movie is. It's already got over 110,000 yeah, views. That doesn't surprise me. And I was, and, Did you, and that's only because, and not because, oh, it's such a great video. It's because people are searching and they want yes. to know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Did they, you guys listen. hear how much money it's making this weekend? Yeah. No. It, it's, Thursday it's, night alone. What did it do? Sixty Holy million shit. That's yep. dollars. It's, it's, it that already the beat the record. Yeah. yeah. It already beat Infinity War. And I, somebody said it's projected, or they're yeah, wanting yes. it to do 300 million for the weekend. That's it's, yeah. it's, it, so, I, I think it's going to happen. Sixty million dollars. So. If it made, That's if, crazy. Yeah, well, shit. If it made sixty just last night, yeah. let's say it makes one hundred and twenty tonight, on fr- yeah, Friday, tonight, and another one hundred and twenty on Saturday, plus like another seventy. Yeah, on oh. Sunday. Holy shit! Nuts. We should do a man crazy. on the street video up there today and see who's who's. Yeah, I wish this is what I wish the beard. Are you watching play. anything but Avengers Endgame? Like that's right. the that's the. And I I feel. Listen, is this not the screening for yeah. Mama Mia Tree? <laughs> I want Joe. I want. Is that? Are you doing your mother-in-law? <laughs> no. She. I'm, uh, I'm trying to does find. Does this mean it's over? I'm trying to find the Avenge. <laughs> uh, she abbreviates everything. Who is this big purple man? Why is the purple man got the glove on? <laughs> Those are pretty jewels. <laughs> my, my mother with Avengers Endgame sent me a text. <laughs> that is the greatest text of all time. <laughs> Roping in Endgame and Frozen 2 in one fell swoop, and it's the greatest text. And she was like, how was Endgame? I'm really interested. Also, is Elsa gay in Frozen 2? <laughs> <laughs> that was the There's been a report. There's been a report, and apparently she <laughs> heard. You and you put it you together. You bury the lead, though. If I'm out here talking about Pat jumping up there, you're, I mean, Mrs. Mrs. Riley's got to come out. And, and what's that text say, Mrs. Riley? Yeah. Well, I, I, I was thinking about something. Okay. I saw I was watching The View. Okay, you like that show? Uh, well, yeah, they're all sitting <laughs> around in a circle, and right. they talk. Okay, and that's what I like to do, do with my with, friends. You do that with your friends all the time. All the time, you know, we sit and we talk about things like Endgame. Oh yeah, you like the Endgame. Well, I haven't seen it, but I I hear really good things. Well, did you see any of the Marvel movies? Well, yeah, I saw Infinity War. What the hell happened at the end of that? Everybody's dead. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of Endgame. Try to figure out Endgame. So do they come back in Endgame? Well, don't you want to see the movie? Well, I want to know spoilers. Well, you can click on a review. It went up today. Well, you shouldn't put it up that early. Oh, Mrs. Riley, how dare you? Mrs. Riley, can you read the text that you sent your son? Sure. So I sent a text to my son, and I said, How was Endgame? I'm very interested. Also, is Elsa gay in Frozen 2? Oh, why why would you ask a question like that? Well, on The View, they were talking about it. Oh, I saw Elsa talking. at the Abbey on <laughs> Sunday last. <laughs> this is the text I got, That's and the I, straightest I literally went, yeah. what the? It, it is. It is. Really? It's the straightest bar in WeHo. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's I, a good bar, but it's not the What game. are you talking about? Where the, Abbey? the Abbey? The oh. Abbey. Okay, the one and only wow. time I went the there, Abbey it was and WeHo. Okay. I've realized something about it's this fucking show bar. sometimes. If you do, if you got to be careful, because it's, it's uh, I was going to say something that was going to ruin... The Avengers. I'll wait until next week. Okay. But there's mm. something that happens with this show. It's like sometimes there'll be a the strain. There's one again. I can't oh, say. Oh yeah. I can't say. <laughs> I can't say. You, you see where I'm going with it. I know wait, exactly speaking, where you're going. Yeah. Speaking of gay, and this is spoilers, huh. maybe. Yeah, but see that one so th- so did you? Do you guys know that guy that does the fake reviews? The yes. Ben Meckler, or whatever. Yeah, the one Riley loves. Yeah, right, I love right? I love that guy. I love so that he guy. he did the one with uh he did one for Endgame. Yes, yeah. and, I saw and, that. and and did you see the one where it's like oh like Bucky and Cap fisting? <laughs> yes, it's so that. good. Yeah, and then I thought about it, I was like that probably doesn't happen, and it made me very sad. Yeah, well, you know that's what he does. Huh. But yeah. you know, as you were it telling that you story, very sad for the, about for the two first men not that fisting. Yeah, no, yeah, he he. What is wrong with your brain? What? What do you mean wrong? What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with fisting? <laughs> you want two men to fist each other? Yeah, Are what's you wrong okay? with that? In a Disney movie? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Okay, I, I think I might leave. <laughs> I might <laughs> leave. What's wrong be with... Be better. Makuga, yeah, what's be better. wrong with sex? 
It's there's nothing wrong with sex. There's Uh-oh. a lot. No, no, I'm you not, went down no, the road. No, nope, I'm not. You jump. You jump. No, 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 no. Just, no, just no. answer. What's wrong with sex? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. Sex is good. It's healthy. <laughs> no, no, no. It is like food and right, sleep. Please. It is good. We are. We are. We are, we are actually gonna You're, move. You need to fucking time out. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna move for a second. Yes, thank Let's you. Move. Um, what I do want to say is, in the middle, before we started down that really weird fucking thing, we. Yes. Thank you. You that that interview that 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 person who you love, right? Yeah. But before when she first brought it up. You were tuned out in your phone for the first five seconds. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Dagnino and I were on the phone yesterday, and we're talking and, and just kind of laughing about his ridiculous phone call yesterday. And I don't know, you came up one way or another, and he's like, you know what? I don't know. If there's a guy that's more addicted to his phone than that guy. And I'm like... Yeah, yeah. Like, no, and, he's right. He's and, right. And I was yeah. like, I was like, I, I'm yeah. completely. I was like, even were, Julie says it. He's oh, like, he's like I was having like a 20 minute conversation with the guy, mm-hmm. and like 21 minutes into it, he goes. What? And I'm he's like, he's he bearing goes, that lead. He's like, because I know exactly he, what he's he talking has, about. He's like, I was just talking for like twenty <laughs> minutes, and and so and I was like, you know what? It is absolutely true. I'll call him in to like to ask him, like, hey, check out this promo I got going, and, and he's watching it, and I'm like, so what do you think? And he's fucking nose buried into yeah, yeah, yeah. into into the thing. Yeah. You, you you got a problem? I do have you a problem, do. but I, this was a work thing. I you heard know, the funny no, story because do. I yeah. can. Well, well, I've I never seen him confirm. I've never seen Riley something. so pissed off that when he didn't have his phone for like two well, days. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm obsessed I and I have a problem. This was a fucking big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I brought it up to my therapist. That you're oh, addicted you do? That's to good. It? Yeah. yeah. What did What did they say? They, uh, it, that's therapy. Talk. Do you want us to slap? <laughs> do you want us to slap your hand? No, I think I can oh, work on I it. I heard a funny story about you at celebration. Hold uh, the story. Hold okay. it. Hold the celebration story. We'll come back to it. Jesus. Go back to it. what can you, What can you confirm? Uh, you already said you can confirm it, so just confirm the fucking thing. Well, we're gonna pick a day. Yes, Ralph Macchio. Yeah, that's so cool. A light confirm. Light Light confirm. confirm. Well, here's here's the thing. I I just got the 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 slack. Good. So because I reached out to I don't know yet. Wire. wire. I reached no foot foot. That's what it was. Foot foot. I reached out to um, on Twitter actually to to the boys and I said, look, we've had Ralph's daughter in. We've had Johnny's protege in. We've had the creators and we've had Martin Coven. When we get Ralph and Billy, and they're like, we're working on it. So mm-hmm. and John, John, all those guys, but John's the man. Yeah, John is the fucking man. Yeah, uh, and he's he, he, it'll it'll happen. It'll happen. So to have Ralph Macho here would be so amazing. Well, we'll, yeah. We'll, so yeah. Cool. Let's see. I, I'll start working on it. Let's you see. can hear Roxy screaming. Please make it Monday, Tuesday. Monday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. I'm like Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know where it's gonna land, but we shall see. That's really cool. That's a see. That's good scoop. But now, yeah. now, because you did something so positive, let's tell a story about him at Celebration. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I was talking to Ken. And and I, I, forget I doubt who this else. will be uh, positive. It was post-Celebration. No, it's pretty funny. And they were like, yeah, we we would just go somewhere. Uh, we'd be at Celebration and then just like walk. And Riley would just stay on his phone and not realize we'd walked away. Yeah. And then like 15 minutes later, he's like, <laughs> yep. We lost you so many times yeah, because yeah, you yeah. weren't following us. What is, yeah. it, what is yeah. it with the thing? You just can't help yourself, yeah. huh? You lost Julie. I had to get Julie because you lost <laughs> yeah. her. Because yeah. you were on do your phone. Do you want us to at least say, hey, hey, you're doing it? Sure. All right. Yeah, You can do that. Okay. I didn't know it was a big problem for you. No, it's just I like go down these rabbit holes. It's like I I don't know what it is about my mind, but it's like I I love it's watching skiing videos of people crashing. Ooh, it, that's no, really no, no, it's not even that. It's oh. just like I will go down these rabbit holes on Twitter where people right. are just yelling at each other yeah, about yeah, something yeah. stupid. It is pretty funny. And I just start going. I mean, that's I don't think just, it's just that though. I think it's the there's, internet. There's but everything. Do you, do you yeah. think it's because like and and I talk about this with my friends that are also addicted to their phones? Yeah. Is that you have to? You just can't not think your thoughts by yourself that it like well, like it does it freak it's you like, out she's called like, a sheep it, yeah. it's like no, 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 no that's not what I meant I meant like you Sound can't like. just sit there and think about your life <laughs> right I mean a lot of the celebration sucker, stuff sucker, was sucker, like sucker, texting sucker. where are we going and this yeah, and that yeah, yeah. and so yeah right. but the need to just it's, be is, or, or big, do you want to be connected, connected to people it's too. a big fucking problem I don't know this. what it is because we're all mildly addicted the matrix Riley gets so worked up so easily in everything punch punch kick kick yeah 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 but when he's like he'll be on Twitter Twitter looking at this, these people are the worst. They're like, so stop. So stop. Right. I know. Yeah. Looking it's at this, it. It's I, this vicious it's cycle. So Many easy. people that we're connected to have that problem. Yes. Um, I see people all the time that I, uh, like, 
very good people that are just uh, who there is so much love out there for mm -hmm. them, but one or two people can set it off, and they um, and you know yeah, it's, it's just yeah, in general yeah. like I've it had really fucks with them right big yeah. time and it yeah. should and it sh I mean you can't t just say it shouldn't because it's, you see something yeah. people are talking about you and and it's like even you know like yesterday and I saw that you know Rachel Cushing had tweeted something out yeah. to where she, and it's on her it's public so it's, it's yeah. out there but she's she is she's one of the most positive people we have in she this is. game she kicks ass she's the most I mean, like just going off my daughter, she's one of the most beloved characters mm -hmm. that we have. She's like Hogan 85, you know. Yeah. For she's the a super up. sweet, smart woman. Superstar, yeah, and, yeah, she is. And the problem is that she she sees she, she sees the positivity, but if she sees that couple negative comments, it really gets to her. And like yeah. the exhibition match happened, and there was a question she missed, and some stupid ass goes, "Oh, oh, you choked!" Right. And so she tweeted it out there, like, "Oh, I just this is why I, I yeah. don't even know if I'm going to do this anymore." And it's like you can't. Stop. You got to because imagine, yeah, imagine like imagine like the uh, and I tell this, and it's it, it's a. It's a catch twenty two because you know we treat this like we want to treat it like a sport, right? Yeah. And if you have like a any was it baseball, football, if they went into the comments and saw, imagine when Tony Romo had that thing. Ah, Tony Romo choked. Yeah. The big difference is Tony Romo's getting paid millions of dollars. Right. Cushing is not. Right. Um, but it's still in. It's an acceptance of what you're doing with the fan base and stuff too. But you also got to. That's going back to what I said to you. You got to get off those well, comments. It's right. it's oh, yeah. in like in sports in general, right? So you know. I, I try again this goes back to the videos and anything funny as you know all these people take things very seriously and I just so happened in my life try to enjoy myself way more than I try to take things seriously right. listen are there things in my life that I should take seriously yes and I do but when I'm talking about sports on sports time or I'm on here talking about movies or I'm making jokes or whatever people just a lot of people do not have a sense of humor and especially right. sports fans and especially people that are like diehard so there, I'm sure there's still people that talk about Tony Romo every single day eh, the biggest choke artist all the time so I make like a side comment about the Denver Nuggets and some dude just goes at me on Twitter. I'm like, guys, it is a joke. I'm not coming at you personally. I'm legitimately just trying to make content enjoyable. But that's what it is, though, that we all take things personally all the time, yeah. right? And, like, we're also we're also the one, the ones that are harder on ourselves, like, whatever we do. Like, we're, we have that voice in our heads that we're like, oh, we sucked. We sucked yeah, at this. Sure. And so when you hear... Everybody around you is like, oh, that was really good. But that one, one person, person that's like, you suck. Maybe, maybe they're right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, and it, it, but, it. So, so yeah. It, but it's it's up to you how you can. You, you're the one that controls that, yeah, though. This is why I've said, you know, it's, it's, you got to realize that those people are going to be out there. And it's it's also the, the game that we're in. But yes. um, moving on, you know what I forgot to tell you? I got What'd on. You I did on this. Uh, I got on this app yesterday. Oh. This is the that, thing, not the thing. <laughs> I was uh, just gonna no. Say. It, it is. It's where you just you watch you watch a minute of it. I oh. will tell you the last time I pitched it again. I pitched it again. I brought it up on Amazon. No, you didn't. I swear to God, I brought it up. On I Amazon. don't believe you every time you pitch it. The, I don't. The, believe no, no, you. you don't believe me. It right. is on Amazon. I, I did see it. I have not once. I have not once said that I've watched. You own it. Why would it matter that it's on Amazon? Because I got to be able to search instead of going <laughs> and doing all this stuff. The so stuff. Listen, I get yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm on the couch. Right. We started watching that. That what's the one with Jane Fonda? Uh, Grace and Frankie. Start great. Right. I, I liked it. Yeah. Again, my bells on it right, right away. <laughs> so she walks out and she, she's not going to. So when we're watching old people, I said, forget it. You know. So she so she walks. <laughs> she, goes, she goes inside, and she she comes back. You it's know, very entertaining. She, I I liked what yeah. I saw, yeah. and she comes back into the uh, living room, and I and lo and behold, on Amazon is the thing from 1982. And she goes, it's not funny anymore. That's what she said. I said, I said, I'm legit trying to watch it. And she goes, she's like, it's not funny anymore. I'm like, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to. Pitch. I'm trying to watch it. I'm trying to pitch it. She's like, I don't want to watch this movie right now. And I'm like, all right. Okay. But and you know, she's it. never gonna watch it. Well, what do you want me to do? Just watch it. When? You don't. You don't need your wife to watch it with you. Sp do you live in my house? As well, far you as could like, just yeah. go to when, a screening. Like, you know how you screening? go to... Yes, we thing? invited you. Remember when Nathan and I invited you to a on screening? Like a on like a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday night. Whatever. It was mm. Tuesday night by your house. I'm not going to go see things that I own and then never watch the thing that I own. Um, but look, I will say a good recommendation for you and the missus. My man and I just binged it over the last couple you of nights. You told me Bosch. No, no, no. Oh. Bosch is fantastic. And Sex education. Knock on wood, nothing happens. Next Tuesday, Titus Welliver is coming in here at 2.30 for oh, a nice. TV talk interview for Bosch. And for everything. Bosch. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, because he's the lead. So, but so we started watching this show called Huge in France. It's with... I just saw the trailer for that last Dude, night. It is it is great? hysterically funny. It's awesome. What is it on? It's on uh, Netflix. Oh, Seinfeld's Seinfeld's in it. Yeah. Is it new? Uh, he plays like two little small but parts, but he's a producer of it because yeah. he and Gad are very good friends. And Gad was on uh, Comedians in Cars I getting caught. I saw that and trailer and I like that trailer. Is right? it yeah. new? It's yeah, it's, yeah. New. Okay. Brand it's new. great. It's, 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 it's a yeah. pokes fun in everything LA. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, awesome. okay. And yeah. and he's Gad Elman, I think, or Elman, okay. is the biggest comedian in France. Like yeah. he is. 
I mean, he's the Jerry Seinfeld of France. Right. So everywhere he goes, people want pictures. He's a huge deal in France. He comes over here, nobody knows who he is. He's not funny. Is he nobody really big in France funny. for real? He's huge. Yeah, yeah he sells out like thirty thousand seat okay. arenas. Okay, yeah, cool. He sold out. I want to check this out. He is sold it? out uh, like the 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 stadium where Lyon France plays the, the soccer oh, team. Oh wow! Yeah. I, yeah, again, watch. Like my wife doesn't want shit. Gel like, El Mala. I, was, do, do I watched this, dude. I watched the trailer. It's nice. This looks good. And she's like, nah, I don't want to watch she'll like it. I never understand. She'll like it. You must get this too, because you said it. It's like I'm not in the mood right now yeah. to watch that, right. but I'll watch it. It's like they're basically they saying. And, well, this is the comment I got from somebody else. Uh, I, you know, I think Christian's making this a bit now because when I want to watch something, I just go in the other room. I go in the other room. Guess what I see? Babies. My kid's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I go in the other room. Guess what I see? Another baby sleeping. Yeah. It's yeah. like I don't. I don't. I can't just walk into a room and totally. magically and then put on a projector. I'll be, I'll be in the other room watching the TV, and man's like, "What are you doing in there? Come right. out and sit with me." You get yes. it. Yes. These are people that are not married. No, correct. I just you know, I just walk into another room. I yeah. turn it on. It, that's what I do. So he just I doesn't just want to watch. I just leave. Amanda. <laughs> you don't have kids. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And you also live in some world where Bucky and Captain America fisting is normal. <laughs> so it is just the best world, yeah. Yeah. Josh. Yeah. You know, if only you open <laughs> right, it up yourself. All right, trance too. over there. Just take it. I, I got Go you. play your I robot got, music. I got you out of the Pandora's box and you open the fucking Well, box. Christian, I did it for the bit. All right, fine. Listen, um, one of the things that I did <laughs> yesterday. Um, yesterday, I I got myself on this app, Cameo. Oh. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Do you know it pretty Yeah, well? it's a Google thing. It's awesome. The so, only other two people in the office that I know that are on it are Jeff Snyder and John Roca. Well, I'm on it, and basically what it is is that you can – it's it's a way to connect to the fans, right? Because we, I kept getting things – like people would – I'd check my Facebook and check, and people would say uh, – or Twitter or Instagram – Hey, can, I, I'd love to do like. Is it possible? It's my it's my birthday. Can we do a personalized shout out? Can sure. we do this? And I was like, you, uh, th- I was presented to me that fans can do that. They request it. They can mm-hmm. say, because a schmodown, or can you do? Uh, someone had, had said it yesterday. Can you do something as Arnold? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? Can you do, uh, you, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen? And they're an paying you for this. Yeah. And it's like yeah. They, it's a it's a it's a cool little it's a cool yeah. little app. And Michael Rappaport's on it. Yeah. And it's 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 cool. Oh, there's so a lot of Snyder on pitched it. it on me. Yeah. He was. It's he awesome. told me a lot about it. I was yeah, like, it's Cameo. So just go to. You should get Lay on it. If, oh yeah. yeah, you should. But you Lay can just go, go to uh, go to Cameo if you want to check it out. My profile's up there, and it's it's really cool. And I think Howard Stern does it. And it's it was it was presented to me over the weekend, and I said, let me check it out and see. And it's it's really awesome. Mm-hmm. And to do like a, a mock, ladies and gentlemen, introduce yeah. me first, and you could do. Hey, would you would you would you do a uh, an introduction for me for Schmo That's gonna, great. So it's fun. So check it out. Uh, it's, the app is called Cameo, and I'm it's a smart idea because yeah, you can really get cool. like the, these are the people that you reach out to on Instagram and nobody ever responds or like a DM on Twitter or whatever. Yeah. But if you go on Cameo and you pay the price, you can get Cisco to sing you the birthday thong song. Whatever it is, yeah, yeah. it's really cool. It's it's a fun. It's a I'm fun thing. Do that. Yeah, yeah, it's it. a fun thing. Yeah. Um, all right, look, I really love this Ralph Macho news. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a hour, by the way. Uh, there's a uh, there's a lot of work still needs to be done. All right. So when, um, and so who's in next week? Uh, uh, Betsy Brandt is Betsy coming. Betsy Brandt in. is yeah. coming. Yeah. In She's coming in Monday. Cool. Breaking Bad fame, which is awesome. Without looking at the calendar yet. Yeah. yeah. Always but, uh, in purple. Is she always wearing purple? Well, in yeah, Breaking Bad. Oh, right, 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 right. She's like my great grandma. When my great grandma died. Can you guys bring died. what we do in the shadows, people? I love like to. Oh. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, regulars and people that we've had call in, texting back and forth with the former welterweight champion of the world, UFC's legend Matt Sarah, who is getting excited to watch Endgame. He's going to see it over the weekend. He's going to mm. call in next week because he wants to give his thoughts on the movie, obviously. Nice. So he'll, he'll definitely in. be in the car. Yeah, definitely be a guy. Totally. Probably, yeah, we're waiting to pick up his kid. From school. Totally, it's my it's, favorite it's, time. It's, oh, me too. Because yeah. I just, I would love listen, it. Christian. Listen, no, listen, no, listen. It's the best. <laughs> He's the, the best. best. Yeah, he really is. Yeah, that guy. I mean, who who doesn't want to hang out with Matt? Sarah? I don't know. Yeah. There's so many different reasons. Yeah. Want to talk comic movies with him too? Plus, it's just like look at somebody walk by. I'm like, I dare you to say something. I yeah, I want <laughs> to him, not to me. I'm not I want start like fighting. what we were gonna do with uh, um, Booker T. Unfortunately, I have a wedding to go to. to. Have, to him? I want Matt Sarah to like. Yeah, I don't think he can do stuff like that. They'll like fake choke. Yeah, because I think that's where the potential lawsuits coming in. Because mm. if you're if you're in Houston, you walk in ah! that yeah you walk into that ring and you're you know the lawsuit. There's no lawsuit. We you can choke you out on this show though. That's true. Why don't you do it? You can probably want to do it. Yeah. You can go ahead and drag. Oh, 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 oh shit! Go ahead and drag. Oh, like shit. Ram stuck, ram stuck, ram stuck, ram stuck, ram stuck. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, gonna get physical with a woman. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> Damn, sucks for Amanda. Yeah. Um, hey, <laughs> she gets. A, she gets enough physicality. Yeah, it's good. good. 
Oh, you guys are so cute. All right, what's uh, what the hell's going on in movie news before we get ourselves well, shut down? After Riley the, was yeah. on his phone. He has no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You shut Maybe. your mouth. You know why he doesn't? He doesn't clip his fingernails. So, can, because so I can go on that. Phone. It's, it's oh, really it helps. It helps with my phone. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do need us uh, to help speaking, you not be on your which, phone, so, we can do it. Speaking of which, they're getting there, buddy. Yeah. No. You forgot. Yeah, See, no, I wouldn't even time. notice. He brought that up. Is that why you said it? Yeah. yeah. At least they're clean. Well, I have to sit next to him every day. You see, his fingers are behind the computer. That's what's time. Your claws are it's coming time, out, but it's not that is long. It be, be honest with me. Is it because? Be honest with is me. it because Avengers are coming out and you and the rest of the X Men couldn't come? <laughs> <out>? <laughs> uh, I have a meeting with uh, Feige. Bing. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm not willing to announce it yet. <laughs> There's always the oh shit. Yeah. There's yeah. always the oh shit moment because you oh. know what he does when we start talking about those nails is he ba- he bunches them up into a ball so like we can't see. It's already damage is done. Yeah, we've seen them. They're not it's, that long right now, though. No, they're not. They're getting there, and I'm they're not it. dirty. It's so. not a big fucking deal. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. So the promo videos that WG in America sends me for movies for America. So yeah. this Monday we have to do. Uh, we're doing X Men Origins Wolverine, which not a lot of people like. I get it, not but good. <laughs> uh, I I don't mind the movie until the end when the Deadpool thing happens. But uh, they gave me like in the promo video, the, their graphics department's insane. They do like the full. I like, yeah. do the full like Wolverine. And it comes out. It looks That's perfect. Cool. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Snake. I started to write this. He was like, oh damn. That's good. Like, and then I looked at his finger and I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Get you know, him! I thought we had this conversation. I every day you check now because you know you're going to get it on this show with those yeah, chompers. Yeah, and this is not a big deal. This, this, it's, I have to clip them tonight. Makuga, would you say that on a scale of big deal from one to ten, where would you rank those? If I can see the nail beyond the finger, yeah, the, the, so yours are t- just like mine. What? So, like, so rank, right rank, there. rank, rank how bad it is right now. Uh, we're only at like a five. A five. Yeah. We've seen catastrophic. We've seen before. nine. Oh, I've seen had, nine. I've had tens. Right. The first time, yeah. first time ever. Out, yeah. yeah. How do you live though? Like, how, like, you know what I you... hate? I hate actually clipping my nails because they are so strong. They grow so fast. Yeah. You and do it, have like, interestingly femininely long fingers. And it's fingers. like, and it's like, I literally like, ah, fuck. Oh, you know, it's like that kind of thing. Oh. And so I hate so it. it. So hurts. it's like, so it you're like yeah. an animal. Like yeah. it hurts it, when you cut your nails. It's literally like an animal thing. You should think about. Like I have to go to. He bleeds like I, an animal. When yeah. I bring my dog to the vet, I go back with her so they Ooh. clip my nails. Yeah, you okay. should. Yeah. Wow. You should. Yeah. You should look on Amazon with like that's some extra large there. clippers. That that's yeah. what I have. That's that are great. Yeah. And also too, you should look into maybe like a possible emery board. It's a, instead of looking at your phone yeah. while watching TV, emery board. Right. It's healthy for you know, the nail. He makes a great point here. Instead of looking at your phone, How, you spend so much time in that phone. It might should, be therapeutic for you. Yeah, you'd be therapeutic yeah. and and put on some headphones and just clip your nails every day. Oh, yeah. that's a good point. No, I'll, okay. I'm gonna have to talk a lot on, uh, of uh, yeah. in therapy. Have you talked about Have you talked about your nails to your therapist? No. Do you just actually in therapy? Do you just bitch about us? Uh, well, I'm going to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's like, it's like, yeah, uh, how's the house work treating you? Well, the whole Friday show, they <laughs> fucking went into me about my nails, my phone, and it's like, I don't know, you want to talk about my divorce too? You know, well, uh, bring, you, know, you want to bring that up? Or, it's, uh, it's like that one time, Mark, when you came over to the house and everybody was there, and you and you and, and my daughter. It's like my, else par- remember that my one, parents right? got divorced when I was ten. You want to bring that up? That wound is still could be Damn. opened. I don't know. There's some stuff down there that you might want to talk about. Wait, I will give Riley a compliment. <laughs> like, clearly, what? Riley Just has one. been losing weight for the wedding because he's looking slim. Yeah. Like, he, I walked That's, in I know. Pool That's of two crazy. Day and I was like, whoa, Riley was shredding for the what wedding. What are you yeah. doing? You. What are you doing? Uh, I'm eating better and I'm um, doing workouts in the morning. Right. Oh. So. Smart. Nice. No yes. poops. No, no Riley in the shits. <laughs> real quick, real quick. Guys. Yes. If I may. Uh-oh. Riley, with those nails, I'd imagine it's painful to to wipe after pooping. There was no <laughs> toilet paper in that toilet, Riley. Your nails are going on the board. <laughs> That's good. Cody, I gotta give you that Man, one. That's good. That is some Batman shit, Cody. That is some, well, yeah, done. well done. He puts it on the board on the like, table. With Co- it underlines it question mark. All right, Cody, I'm gonna red have, line <laughs> over. Cody, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the spot because this has never happened before. No. Yes. <laughs> All right, listen here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here for the and it can't be for Houston because I think Houston is uh, is, is too close. Okay. Uh, we are going to New York in August. <laughs> are um, you going to put on August 10th the weekend I have a wedding in, in for a family? <laughs> the end of August. <laughs> yeah. What are all these now, weddings? And, I'm, and we're, we're aiming for another show after that. Too many Italians. Mm-hmm. Here's what I, here's what I want to do. We got to figure out a way to do this. Um, I think it's time for Cody to get on stage to do stand up comedy. I do too. He's so oh. good. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Oh. And, and his I, delivery is so perfect. And listen, listen. Um, I will I will work with you if you if you would like that. Um, five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, of material, I think that I think you need to get on stage. Yes, would, and, I'll, yeah. and I'll would t- you do it? Uh, 
Maybe I don't know. I got to think about. He would do it. If, there, if there was a, a dead no, then I would say okay. Probably, Cody, maybe. how about this? Write out like two or three bits. Okay. okay. And then we're not on the air. We're not on the air. Whatever. And like maybe pitch them to Christian and I, or Mark Ellis too. Yeah. And then w- again, any one of us, you can work with them. Ellis, whatever, would love to because I think you are super talented and also extremely funny. It's the one. Okay. It's, it's you the are way, the best part of the show, Cody. But it's true. Yeah. Totally. Um, it's it's the way that he just put that together. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I said that's that's your, quick your boy's brain. mind mm-hmm. works. His mind works that way. It's yes. very quick and it's like right on point with comedic timing. It's just, yes. it just um, his, he knows how to piece it together. Mm-hmm. So I think that we're going to try to get you on stage for five minutes, whether it's either in New York or or wherever the next show is after that. And we'll keep working. I'll give you, I'll give you enough time to where you're not kind of thrown into it. You, okay. you, you can I'll consider ponder it. it. All right. Well, we're going to make you do it. You know yeah. that. Okay. But you got to find out who pooped first. Yeah. 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 On that. That's more important. The only way yeah. you're going to get on important. stage is if you find out who yeah. pooped. Yeah. And I guarantee you it's that one dude we talked about yesterday. Well, I'm just He's saying, if guest. you find out a new career with stand-up, I'll get 10% of whatever the fuck you do yeah. in your life. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, listen. Let's get into some of this uh, shit that we talk about besides this other shit. <laughs> but besides this other shit? Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about got... some Friday shit. Some so Friday as shit. the end game... It's here. It's, there's there's a lot. There's going to be new directions, obviously, happening. And uh, we had uh, Elizabeth Olsen talking about with the Becca series. Ford. With Becca Ford. <gasps> That's right. Oh, Your girl. Oh. Farts. <laughs> Farts. She was actually talking to Variety. Oh. And she said uh, she's talking about the WandaVision. T- can you believe this title? It's called WandaVision. That's it's not kinda television. Weird. It's WonkaVision. Yeah. But anyway, she teased that this WandaVision thing, it's six episodes, is going to take place in the 50s. Wait, what's the... Oh, WandaVision is the is, is Scarlet, the Scarlet Witch. Get it. And is her name Wanda? Get it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. What Wanda Maxima. Wait, who? I, I'm I'm lost because what? Who is she with? It's Vision. Vision. Oh, I, I heard they were two. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. It's like it's, Vision, the character. Scarlet Witch, Vision, the character, and Vision. What, and I didn't know that he was part of the series. Mm-hmm. When, did, when was that announced? A while ago. I well, thought it was always about her. No. Well, it's about her. And, and it's her and him running around the town. Yeah, and apparently and it's going to be set in the 50s. Or they 50. showed, she said that uh, in a in a Disney, <laughs> Plus, uh, Disney Plus launch chat, they showed a photo of us in the 50s. She says, 50s. so I think that's a good teaser. How so, many shows are we getting? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. How is it? Go- I don't understand. Wasn't what Vision created in like a, Avengers 2? Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, all right. Well, look. I, I, so something. I mean, they're going to they're gonna figure it out somewhere or another. Some, they have, they, yeah. They, I don't know how they're going to do it. If but this starts becoming, if the MCU starts becoming some huge time travel BS, I am going to lose my effing mind. Well, well, I wonder if it's Vision and he's able to manipulate reality and if it takes place before the events of Infinity War. Because they, you know, they were walking if around. That, if that's and, the case, then I think it's like, eh, that might have helped in the Infinity War. Yeah. Without. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That might have helped. It could help. <laughs> yeah. But so without, I mean, you don't need to spoil anything, obviously. But like, would you? Are you guys actually interested in seeing all of these characters that we know and everybody get their own show? Like, would you guys actually sit there and watch all of these shows? It uh, kind of seems a little exhausting. This one is not high on my list. Uh, yes, um, yeah. the Loki one definitely not. Lo- I'm not oh, a big see, Loki, Loki, Loki is I'm right up there. For yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I like Loki again. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to talk about all these other shows, but they, but there's there's other shows I still would like to see, um, and there might be other ones that, that come out. I still want to see what they're gonna do. I think now because of Hulu, like we said with Daredevil and Punisher, I think that they can actually connect it into the overall. Now that Feige's got a hold of the properties on TV, mm-hmm. I think now connecting those things some way or another, I'd like to see them involved. Yeah, and well, Feige is very animate about how it is going to connect to the movies, <laughs> right. not like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, I, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of did, but Daredevil, universe, Luke yeah. Cage, and all that it didn't really connect, but he's like, but this is... They were so good. I know. Some well, of them some were good. Some of them were good. Which, yeah. well, okay, one of them wasn't. Uh, Everything else was great. Mm-hmm. Well, which was so you had the one the, the Iron Fist was farts, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, yeah, was, but everything was else was great. I thought Luke. I didn't see. I didn't see any of this from what I heard. Is a Luke Cage season it two was, was it was oh, good? Luke's, I just saw the first season, but yeah, I liked okay. it a lot. Luke Cage season one and a lot of the of those shows fell victim to thirteen episodes. They should have been eight to ten right. because they they cramped too many villains in. In, in my opinion, uh, I thought Luke Cage the first half was awesome. The second half, like the middle part, really slow, and then it ended pretty well. Uh, Daredevil mm, I agree. Daredevil season two, I thought that like I love the Punisher part. Uh, 
And then yes. once they got to Electro, I was same. like, eh. Exact same. The hand, like the hand just feels I like, like the foot clan. Two. Like, isn't three season, but season, but season, season one season and one three of Daredevil are great. They're great. I agree. And Jessica Jones, the first season is amazing. First season of Jessica Jones it's is incredible. great. Second season, again, I, 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 you're, you get, because there's 13 episodes, there's so much filler. Mm-hmm. and it's So that's what I mean with these characters, right? Like, I think that it's better when you just end something. I don't think you need to prolong. Like, if you make a, ca- a character do a cameo or something like that, this but like you're, it's only gonna, it's gonna make for like better quality episodes. stories. Yeah, it's a, it's basically a six hour movie, right? And it's yeah. gonna be six episodes an hour. This is okay. what I like. What Disney is, Plus has already talked about too. He's even even like Mandalorian. They said limited series, but and I think Roxy said this last time that it's not. Limited series, you shouldn't think is just going to be one season and done. No. Limited series could mean three seasons, three seasons at eight episodes a piece yeah. or whatever it might yeah. be. And they've already pretty much announced that Mandalorian's going to see going to season two. Yeah, sign me up for that show. Sure, tomorrow. But that it, show looks amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I think the things that you can do within six episodes is way more fun and less daunting for because yeah. I mean people out there would be like, well, you, you, just because you watch too much doesn't mean everything should be eight episodes. Here's the thing. If it's 13, you get so much filler that you really don't need. If mm-hmm. it's 10, you're almost right. perfect. If it's 8, it can be fantastic. Yes. If you look at British television, which I love, Peaky Blinders, 6 episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the Bodyguard, 6 episodes. Right. Luther, yeah, 6. No, it's, much, it's much better to They're do it better. that way. It's better. The, like, the, the Killing fall, Eve is 8, I think. Yeah. The well, Fall is super short. Yeah, really fall good. Is great. Sex Game. Education. Like, oh, they're Game all of Thrones so is 6. Game of Thrones, 6. Um, it was never more than 10? No. All right, so let, let's see. Disney also previously confirmed that Loki, another spinoff series starring Tom Hiddleston and his beloved, sometimes villain, sometimes anti hero who didn't fare so well at the hand of Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. That series recently recruited Rick and Morty writer Michael Waldron as showrunner. And earlier this week, reports broke that Disney Plus will also pursue a Hawkeye series starring, starring Which we've talked about on Jeremy there. Renner. And that has yet to be confirmed, mm. which is also an interesting, an interesting, interesting take. So we'll 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 see. And there's a lot more to talk about next week. So let's. I don't want because I think yeah. the more we talk about Marvel, it just gets a little yeah. more yeah. until next week. We can so just touch on that. As yeah, much so. as I'm happy, people are excited. It does get a little exhausting. Yeah. 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 What's next? Uh, we have uh, a news that Dark Phoenix. They reshot the entire third act climax. They moved it from outer space to a train. Why? Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's I didn't even know big, they were redoing a, stuff. I thought rewrite. it was just coming out. From the ocean to a kiddie pool. It Seriously. just came out in hey, the we're entertainment. Gonna do this big thing in the city. Huge fight. Oh wait, what? And we're doing it in my kitchen. Yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> we're gonna do it in my kitchen. EW reveals that the production wrapped in October of 2017. Wow. Okay. Wrapped in 2017. Uh-oh. Decided to do reshoot reshoots to change the setting of the third act. Filmmakers decided to revamp the look of Phoenix in post, more cosmic and less flamey. According to the director, <laughs> are they worried, really worried about because it's I too want, much like Captain Marvel, sh- Marvel? Maybe I want more flaming. That that's more yeah, that's good. It could be and Captain shoot Marvel. a new third act instead of taking place in space. The climax finds all the X Men kidnapped and on board a military train. I think this is because of the Captain Marvel thing. I think because a lot of it, you know, she, she's. I, I'm ladies. so it, yeah. it gets really annoying when people, when executives or studios decide, oh. This other studio did this, so we have to copy them in order well, to be successful. And then they Just do the man and say, Thor Ragnarok yeah. was great. We're going to make this. They right. copy, then they don't. Well, then they do this. That's, that's age old. That's the same shit. That's going to always be going. That's yeah. just dumb business people as opposed to smart business creators. Um, you know, the this movie, though, it's... Yeah, I wonder how much Disney has a hand as far as the reshoots go. Because this is what Disney... Th- there's two ways to look at it. The first thing is, just release it. Release the movie, put it out there. If it eats shit, it eats shit. It's the last one. We're going to reboot this franchise in five to ten years anyway. Right. So it, it's fine. That's one way to look at it. The other way to, is we really got to protect this thing because we want it to be really good so we can launch it in like the next two or three years and not have a stain on it. Because yeah. it's going to be significantly different. Every, everyone's getting recast. You're going to get new people in it. And this is the last of the movies, I think. The last of the movies of the more like McAvoy and Lawrence yeah, like the and old the, the, I thought the new did, old guard. Yes, because it, I thought that was done brilliantly. By the way, the way that was set up in first class to introduce that that cast, and then you were able to put them together totally. into movies, and then kind of pass the torch. And it's been Such like eight or nine years, cast, so them though. aging makes sense. Right. Like it looks normal. It looks good. Yeah, I just I wonder if we've run our course with the, with this cast and with this series and with these writers, and now you just kind of. Say okay, but the thing is, Simon Kinberg—he's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. He's as tight because w- he's he's working with Fox for a long time, but he's really tight with 
Feige. With, with Feige. You know, not, Feige, not just Feige, Disney. Oh, yeah. Lucasfilm and, and all that. He's going to mm-hmm. be around. He's going to be doing Star Wars stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if he ep- he directs an episode of one of their television series, if he does one of the movies for Benioff and Weiss. Yeah. And, you know. and what if this is really good? And I really do hope it's good. Me too. And That's and the trailer my, looks great. What if he knows book? how to, to yeah. do, like, this X-Men movie comes out and he's like, hey, he gets it. <laughs> Bring him over to... Maybe work on the reboot. Right. Why not? Mm. I don't know. It's, it's I still on. heard good things at cin- uh, about CinemaCon. Uh, the that footage? they watched. Yeah. yeah. The trailer, I'm, I'm still I excited. The, I'm too. still going to go see I it. The trailer yeah, looked really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sansa Stark, in my opinion, is the effing glue of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. To yes. me, uh, she's my she's become my favorite character. It's so weird how much I hated her. And it's I funny. Love her. It's yeah, like Ahsoka. Right? It's so like Ahsoka yeah. in Star Wars. Yeah. Ahsoka was the same way. People really? hated us. Oh yeah, people hated Ahsoka when she started, and then she just through good writing and good performance. Became a character that had layers, and that's yeah. that's what's so good about. That's Sansa. the best character is when you actually have totally. somebody yes. that like grows and like changes, like actual character development. She like, was a spoiled was... child when yep. she was younger, and yeah. she is through tragedies and everything too has become a woman and a powerful woman at that. And and it's and it's written very very well. Yes, and mm-hmm. she and her performance is great. Yes, um, that's what I'm saying. And but also too, if you follow, I know Amanda. I don't I don't do it. Uh, I, I should, but she follows Sophie Turner on Instagram, and Sophie Turner she plays me Sophie Turner's stories, and she's hysterical. Really? Yes. Well, both. She her and what's her name? What was that? Macy Williams. Did she did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just called her Macy. Macy? Macy? Who said Macy? I did. Macy. Macy? 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 Snapped in the so, knees. So Sophie Turner on, uh, I th- it was like right after the Game of Thrones on Sunday, so this could be a spoiler alert, uh, whatever. Uh, she was like, <laughs> something, something. She wanted something, but she got that pussy. And she was talking about, she was talking about Macy Williams. Oh. And she, then she chugged wine. It was really funny. It was yeah. good. She's, uh, yeah, she, uh, I, I'm, she's um, also, I've read interviews with her yeah. to where she was kind of going through, she's talking about comment section. Yeah. Like, for the, because it was like you said, there were people that just didn't like her. She like contemplated like suicide at one point. Jesus. And like, there was, who she, she's dating. It's like the Ahmed best. Uh, the one of the Jonases. Right. And she said it was conversations through her boyfriend, kind of got her a, a yeah. super positive person and and kind of just looking at life a little differently. And she's <laughs> yeah. changed her. And she's a very inspiring uh, person. So you should you should follow her. I mean, the crazy thing is, can you imagine being Taylor Swift, who like 95% of the comments are probably these fangirls that are going crazy. I love you so much. And then there's these idiot a-holes that are just like, your music, shit, I hope you burn and rot right. off a bridge. Like, right. just... You know? It is. Yeah. It, it's it's the world. It's you. Yeah. Um, can I say something really quick? Sure, it's yeah. the alien anniversary. Mm. Did you know that, Riley? Mm. It's also the thing well, anniversary. It came out in 1979? I don't wow. know. Yeah, yes. it was 79. First one was yeah, 40, 79. 40 years. Yeah, 40 first one was yes. 79. Just saying. Mm, yeah. I know you guys care about superheroes and stuff, and I do too. But no, alien, but alien. But yeah. alien. It's a great movie. It was. It was. It was, it was an answer to Star Wars, mm. which was which was amazing. It was. It was a and was, Jaws. They they pitched it Jaws mm-hmm. in space. Yeah, it, that's right. And mm-hmm. it was, but it was the fact that everyone was was doing like these rip off Star Wars Did things to yeah. where it was. Yeah, they, it, it was that perfect blend because seventy five, seventy seven yeah. changed a lot. And they thought and they were like, together. Okay, so what what kind of fantasy, um, like you know, fairy tale are you telling? He's like, mm, I'm not doing that at all. I'm doing a horror film in space yeah. and everyone wants space well I'm going to do this it's I've never so been good. able to watch that movie all the way through do you like the first Wait, one? is it because it's scary or because you get bored <sighs> yeah, both it's mostly scary but I, it's, I just never did it for me no the first one yeah. you like the second one though so it's more of an action film. Yeah, second one's more of an well, action Well, the a- film. Aliens is more of a Josh film. Yeah, yeah definitely. But the first one is a Dorito Yeah, I, once yeah. As, yeah. as soon as, like, the yeah. Mo- yeah. yeah. Cause, like, I remember my brother, this is, again, why I'm so scared of everything, is my brother used to just mess with me all the time. That's what older brothers are for. That's what the point of bullying from an older brother is supposed to make yeah. sense. Uh, he forced me to watch Event Horizon. That movie yeah. scarred yes. me forever. Yeah. I was like, Same that's the you. guy from Jurassic yeah. Park. Uh-huh. He's got a scar face. I, yeah. I want to know. How those conversations went down, though, between Ridley Scott and Cameron, if they happen at all, right. and between Ridley Scott, as we've seen, is not very uh, giving with his properties. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you can ask uh, what's his face from from District Nine. Oh, uh, Blomkamp. Blomkamp. Yeah, Blomkamp. Blomkamp. He basically just got tossed out on his ass because of Ridley Scott. Such a good movie. But uh, the first, yeah, the District Nine. District, District Nine. Nine. District yeah. Nine is great. That's but anyway, great so like, I wonder how that came to be because Alien and Aliens, and I thought Cameron did a very good job of making it seem like that we've had this argument at length about Gremlins and Gremlins 2 <laughs> but like to where they're just completely different movies yeah, oh yeah Aliens even though it's an action film you still believe that it's part of the same universe yeah um, and I wonder how that those conversations kind of went to be of like hey James Cameron wants to take this thing over now yeah. will you let him this is before Terminator 2 right so 
how's this going to work? Or Fox just says, no, thanks, you're out. We we got your property, and we're, and, which is probably what really happened. And then we hired But they're Jeff both Cameron. different, very good movies. Agreed. And I, and so I think, good. I think, I believe, Ridley Scott wanted to move on. He didn't want to come what? back for a sequel, right. and that's why they went to Cameron. Well, he's yeah. a, but he's, I, I don't know if that's... He's an interesting guy because, you know, I've heard friends, because he obviously did Blade Runner, that right. they're like, oh, he got lucky with Blade Runner. I'm like, oh. no, I think that was him. You know, it's, yeah. it's like, it's sometimes they don't, people don't give him credit, or it's like, oh, he fucked up, he fucked with, like, Covenant right. or well, Prometheus Cody, or whatever. Cody it's just so brought weird. this up. It said that James Cameron pitched the sequel to Alien by writing the title on a chalkboard, adding an S, then turned turning it into a dollar sign, spelling in aliens with a dollar sign. The project was greenlit that day for $18 million. Oh, there it is. There you go. That's Boom. a pretty good idea. That's $18 great. million. That's, dollars. A, that's, a, that's a power move Old by Gene. Old budgets. Right there. Old school. $18 yeah. million dollars will get you get you like two actors. That's craft service. Yeah. Uh, God. Okay, so, so I, you know the answer to this, So I'm, I'm, but you two, you, you may, you may not. Birds and cheese. Yes. Okay. Uh, who of like we know this person? He's a a movie personality. Uh, he works in our space. Who do you think loves Gremlins too? Well, I I, you know I do. Holy oh. shit! Yeah, Smant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Holy yeah, yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah. He came on Guilty Movie Pleasures so to talk about. That it. Means he like, likes it I, so much I, more I, than so, Gremlins. So well, I don't know about that. I so love both. Oh, Bibiani. Yeah, I, I love both movies no so much, but the first one's better. The yeah. first Gremlins? First yes. Gremlins is better, yeah. But yeah, I love both of them. It's a great movie. Gremlins yeah. 2 is just a farcical yeah. spin around some it's weird still world. It's so good, though. It's, no, I, no. I can't. I can't I can't, say I can't good. with Gremlins 2. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a conversation that's We've never had. I'm going to make you guys watch it. But you guys haven't even seen it in it's, so long. It's not that. When was the last time I, you guys watched here's it? Here's 20, about a month ago. Here's the no. bottom line. It was on TV. Were you watching it or were you watching your phone? Oh. I was watching my phone. There you go. With it on in the background. There you go. That's why. But then I looked up. And I went, this is stupid. Because and I you went were back on to your Twitter. Phone. No, I looked up and I went, this movie's not good. No. For the tone that they were going for in that movie, they nailed it. Yeah. For Gremlins 2. For the it tone, was Looney Tunes. For, for what they're trying to do and like is absolute everything that they tr- like if they mapped out this entire thing, this farcical comedy that you're saying with mm-hmm. was goofiness and silliness, they nailed it. They hit it. The, my problem was it shouldn't have been attempted. No. Because it was already it's coming off of a movie. But that was the studio just telling Joe, you need to do this, this is what we want you I, to do. I and he was like, and fuck you guys. It. Yeah. Yeah, and he did it. But he did it in like a hilarious Joe Dante way. He, in a charming he, Joe Dante way. And I'm not that that's never been disputed as far as my end goes. My thing is that when you set up a particular franchise and I can't and I've seen the, the comments and they'll come again. Well, you, you know, there's things in in the in the first Gremlins that are very goofy. There's a, there's a Gremlin that that that, that flashes. Yeah, but yes, I think that's but funny. Of course it is, and that's part of the that's the the, the, the Gremlins themselves are are funny. Gremlin yeah, in, this, in the second one, in the second. You're yeah. talking about the second yeah, one, yeah. about the first one. And I mean, they're singing Christmas carols. And they're goofy creatures yeah. in general, but they still played it inside of this kind of heart. They took themselves seriously, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. even though there was goofy shit going on. The yeah. second movie's just goofy all the way around. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I think it stinks. I'm with you. Mm. Yeah. You all know right. what's weird? We're talking about movies. I know. It's true. What do you got next? Oh, we have a good story that we... I know, Doreen, you're going to love this. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be in a Guillermo del Toro movie Look called Nightmare Alley. Ooh. He's in talks right now. It's uh, it's adapted from a 1947 Fox feature uh, and centers on an ambitious con man who hooks up with a female psychiatrist for a, a mentalist routine. Which I don't understand. But eventually she turns the tables on him. But this is Guillermo del Toro, Oscar winner with Leonardo DiCaprio. This gets me really excited. Yeah, yeah. Cool. This, this is, is really cool. Mentalist Noir. routine, it's- meaning like uh, that they travel around and like fool people into thinking that he can see the future or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. Del Toro wrote the script. Um, he's going to produce. He's directing it. And uh, he was, DiCaprio was that? between uh, a bunch of projects and decided on this one. What's up with Pinocchio? Oh, yeah. He's not doing it. Anymore. Is he not doing it anymore? Yeah. There's Aww. so many different people that attached that one. That's another one that went through a lot Sam of problems. Sam Mendes was going to do it at one Robert point. Robert Downey Jr. was Robert Downey Jr. at one point. That's um, that's one that yeah. It, there's been so many different. Because that would be. I want a fucked up Pinocchio. Yeah, mm-hmm. but are they going like to do Pan's Lamb? Are they doing yeah. Disney version yeah. Pinocchio? I, I mean, know. the Disney Pinocchio. I think I think Guillermo I miss, was. I miss old Disney so much. I think Guillermo was doing like the you know his own version and then mm-hmm. Disney was doing their right. remake okay. of it. I don't know what's happening with that. But I, yeah, I haven't heard anything and, yeah. and obviously he's he's going to be I doing think, this. You know what I think you'll hear about Pinocchio's after Lion King comes out because you'll, you'll have more data on both yeah. uh, Aladdin and then Lion King right. because all those movies so far are crushing. I mean, Dumbo didn't do too well, did it? Mm-mm. What did Dumbo mm-hmm. do? Yeah, I don't know. Let's That's look. another reason why they probably would hold back on it. I mean, I everybody think, forgot about Dumbo immediately. Yeah, yeah. I think with um, well, it's because when it came out, yeah. too. Well, but there's another reason. Let me let me see let me see Dumbo. 
Even though I think the one that will go after Lion King will be uh, made, Little Mermaid. We'll made, get more information on that. Worldwide, it was three hundred and ten. So it still made money, but it wasn't. It wasn't a big money maker. I mean, overall, I didn't think it was going to be that because million Dumbo the property is not as budget. big as like a Lion King or an Aladdin. So. No, no, and, and Cinderella and yeah. Beauty and the Beast for sure. But the difference, I, again, my my biggest thing was that. I, and and I think this actually goes into your point was that it's not as well known and as beloved mm-hmm. as the other ones. But the other thing was for those who it was beloved for, it's a different movie. It's not it 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 goes. It's basically a sequel. It starts for the first twenty minutes. It it has some of the original stuff, and then it's just Tim Burton being Tim Burton. You mm-hmm. either really embrace that and like it, or which you, I did. Right, and mm-hmm. I think Frank did too. I didn't. I, I to me, I was like, I don't want this. Is just Tim Burton being doing another Tim Burton stuff. He hasn't clicked in a long time, mm-hmm. and he's not clicking with me now. And I was kind of out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I and I was like, where? Where's the talking fucking mouse? Nowhere right. to be seen. I, that, that was your biggest problem. Where's the was, mouse? That was one of them. Because, because what was that relationship that, that Dumbo had with Timothy? Was I just great. didn't think I was going to feel for a freaking CG elephant. And you did. I did. See, and then that to it's me, good. if you if that happens, it made me get it made me get feelings. Right. And, and that's it, weird. That's it, true. Yeah. You, you think first. you'd be pissed over that? Yeah, it was Wait really a minute. pissed. Wait a minute. What was the bet that we had? To where you were going to potentially wear like a, a sundress or something. What the hell was that? That was for my, what? That was mine and Brett's followers. I was for the uh, followers. Yeah. Where are we at with that? When we were the first person, let's check the followers between Brett. Because we, it's it's who gets to 10,000 for Right. First. And what did Brett have to do? He had to dress goth for a week. And you had to wear a sundress, right? Brett let's, let's, is at 6,515. And Darina? And Darina here, we is at. 6,287. Whoa, wow. that's tight. It's tight. So there's, we're not going to get that bet for a little God, bit. You're, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Cody just unfollowed right now. <laughs> How dare you, Cody? Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm going to make your Pokemon faint. Oh, I forgot about that. We've got to push that bet. Cross the line. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what else is there? Anything else going on? That's about that's it, it for the news. That's yeah. everything. All right, let's, let's open up the phone lines then. We'll go to the phone lines. we got about we'll five minutes. Face. Do we really? Yeah. This show. An hour. Yeah. Friday. Too, too short. Uh. <laughs> you know what the crazy part is? My cousin looks exactly like Rebecca Black. Oh, really? And when it, this song came out, You're my like whole what? family was like, Rachel made a music video. Oh. I was like, it's, it's not me, guys. It's it, not me. Did you ever see the bad lip reading with uh, with with Friday? No. It was good. Can you bring that up? The bad lip. We'll end the show with bad lip reading. Uh, it's Friday. It was one. It's actually one of the first ones they ever did. Gang fight. It's amazing. Um, it was the <laughs> first time I actually found them yeah, before they had kind of blown up, to be honest. And it was it was because of this stupid song. Bad lip reading is just so yeah, good. Here, here, blow it up, Ryan. Have you seen this? Come pay attention, will you? Yeah. Stop no, looking so at your phone. Don't worry about that. Stop looking at your phone. Oh, never mind. This this one's really good. <laughs> Gunther. Hans. Brilliant. <laughs> it's really good. It's an underrated one because they, they blew up a lot, a lot long, like afterwards when all the NFL They're stuff so came good. Oh, They're so good. They're so good. They're my favorite. All right. Anyway, listen, that's the uh, we, we end it with a gang fight. That's Why not? Great. What a week we had here on the show. Thank you to everybody who tuned in this this lovely, lovely week to Bram Stoker, Bram Stoker, Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker, Bram Stoker. That's right. Darina, Josh McCuga, Mark Riley, the, the very funny next Seinfeld, Cody Hall, <laughs> and the rest of the crew. We'll see you on Monday. Make sure you get those tickets over at theschmodownlive.com. Don't forget, check me out over on Cameo. And check out that song once it finally goes up. Thanos with, is lonely. You can see it on my channel, Josh McCuga Show on YouTube. Go do that. And we'll see you next time. Great work, Alex. Thank you, Josh.